What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Daredevil issue number 2. And what we have seen is that Matt Murdock has returned to life. He was born again as a Catholic priest. He has been overseeing the St. Nicholas Youth Home. But not long after returning back to the land of the living, a demonic entity mysteriously obsessed with Matt is targeting those close to him, starting with Electra. But Matt was able to exorcise the demon, though he did promise a greater threat is yet to come. The struggle finally stirring up memories long hidden. Matt has become Daredevil once again, and now the devil is angry. So, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up with Daredevil on top of the youth building. He is completely suited up, and now police are right there pounding at his front door. He doesn't know why they are here, but he knows that they are ready to bust some heads. He knows what he is capable as Daredevil. He has even come to like violence, but he's living a new life now. And so he won't face these armed and angry men as the devil. He will face them as a man of God. This is where we have Matt Murdock the priest coming to the front door, and the police begin to question him. The children on the staircase, they're not very fond of police. The truth is, these kids have been through a lot, whether it be abusive parents living on the street or everything in between, and the police haven't treated them too kindly. But Matt telling all of the kids to get back upstairs immediately. This is when the cops let Matt know that they have been getting calls at the precinct about a video that has been going around, with the officers reading all of this to him. There have been disturbing allegations surrounding St. Nicholas Community Center, and a post that has attracted millions of views. They claim that this place is a training ground for teen criminals, that armed individuals have been seen coming and going, and that Father Matt has ties to the underworld. Now obviously he says that this is insane, but the police, they do ask to come in and look around to ensure that none of this is actually true. That's where Matt Murdock says no. First of all, he knows that his daredevil costume is upstairs on the roof. He doesn't want to take the chance of them finding it. But more than that, he tells them that you're not going to come in here and search my house based on an internet rumor. He tells them that if you do want to come in, you're going to have to get a warrant. The officer saying that you don't want to go there with us. And Matt says, are you really threatening a blind man of the cloth? that the department really did send their finest tonight. But before he slams the door in their faces, he says to come back with a warrant or don't return at all. That's when he goes back upstairs after the children have been put to bed. And now he is letting the devil out. He takes to the streets. All of this anger has been building up inside of him and right now, he feels like he just needs to hit somebody. That's when he hears the sound of gunfire thinking to himself, God forgive me, but I am almost happy to hear it. This is where we see a gang war breaking out on the streets. The Dragons, an old school local crew, they are tangling with someone new that Daredevil doesn't know about, but they call themselves The Heat. And whoever they are, they got some serious hardware. At this point, the Dragons don't stand a chance, but more importantly, civilians are likely to get hurt, unless Daredevil stops them. This is where he jumps down and he begins to tangle with these criminals. As he strikes the first one, the soles of his feet connecting with Kevlar mesh, even he admits that this does hurt. They have custom-made anti-ballistic suits, but this doesn't stop him from laying down some hate. One at a time, he takes them down. And by the time he gets them all on the ground, he is now wondering, where did this crew come from? And how did they get this kind of gear? With one guy still conscious, he goes over and he tries to get him to reveal anything about his new boss, about where these guys come from. But as the sirens begin to reach them, Daredevil knows that he's gotta get out of here. Leaving these guys behind, letting the police take care of this situation, we pick up the following afternoon. 
we have Father Matt who is talking to one of his youths. They have been making fun of him because his parents are dead and he lives with criminals. At least that's what the internet has been telling everybody. And so he's been getting a lot of heat at school. But Matt tells him that you're going to do great things. You're going to become a great person and you're going to leave all of this behind you. As the other kids come in and drag both of them out of here for movie night. While they go watch this movie, Matt takes off to have a conversation with God. He has had one hell of a week. He doesn't know what that demon was. He doesn't know who is spreading these rumors about the youth center. Someone wants to destroy all of the work that they have been doing here in God's name saying, but a false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. This is when he uses his system for the blind to be able to get online. He begins to research anything about anybody who might be spreading this information about St. Nicholas. And as he researches, what he discovers is that an old friend is the one that is out to destroy him. That old friend being from the Daily Bugle, Ben Urich. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This comic really is off to a great start. We don't know how he was resurrected, but we have to assume that it was by some kind of demonic means. Somebody brought him back to life, more than likely to try and get him to do his bidding. Now, I've seen some people theorize that it is the, the seven deadly sins that are the ones that did this. And that would definitely make sense based off of the first demon that we saw. Maybe they're trying to make a return to the land of the living. Maybe they just want to use use Daredevil as their weapon, to try to use him as a sense of influence, to try and break him, to destroy everything that he has built for himself. There are still many unanswered questions on how he actually came back to life, but none of that changes who he is at the very core. He seeks justice for those that need it, and nothing will stop him on his holy mission to do so. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything currently going on with Daredevil, go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comic every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.